we try to put historical events into perspective, we often divide things into old days and modern times because our brains can often struggle with the perception of time. I have gathered a bunch of interesting facts on historical events that surprisingly took place at interesting times and will make you think twice about how you perceive the past. Alexander Bain, a clever guy from Scotland, in 1843, he made something pretty good, the fax machine. It could send pictures and words through wires like magic. While Bain was busy making faxes, bicycles were still not a thing. But hold on, because something big was coming. Around the 1860s, people were getting excited about a new invention, bicycles. These funny-looking bikes with big front wheels started showing up, and everyone thought they were cool. But guess what's surprising? The fax machine, the one that sent pictures, was already around before these cool bicycles. Many years ago, back in the 12th century, Oxford University came to life. This happened long before the Aztec Empire began in the 14th century. It's pretty amazing when you stop to think about it. Oxford has been around for what feels like forever. Picture a time when knights wore armor and kings ruled the lands. That's when Oxford University started. It's been here all this time, even before the Aztec Empire was a thing. While the Aztecs were setting up their big empire in Mexico's valleys, Oxford was already a place of learning. Imagine that, one place starting its journey while another was just beginning. In the 19th century, people were going about their lives, talking in ways they thought were normal. But language can surprise us, and that's what happened with the word dude. It popped up out of nowhere, a quirky addition to our vocabulary. And you won't believe the story behind it. Some folks started using dude to make fun of certain New Yorkers who were quite fashion forward for their time. It was like a playful tease, and little did they know, they were creating a word that would become part of everyday talk. Who would have thought that a word with such humble beginnings would become so popular, even beyond those New York streets? The Great Pyramid of Giza was being built around 4,500 years ago. Can you imagine the scene? Enormous blocks of stone being moved and stacked, and all the while, woolly mammoths roamed the earth. These massive creatures were part of the landscape, living side by side with the construction of one of the wonders of the ancient world. It's fascinating to think that these ancient architects of the animal kingdom were still around for about 1,000 years after the pyramids stood tall. The Romans were known for their grand structures and innovations. They introduced public toilets, a concept that showed their sophistication in plumbing and urban planning. But here's the twist. While they were ahead in toilet technology, they hadn't quite figured out the magic of toilet paper. Can you imagine going to a public toilet back then without that essential role? It wasn't until the late 19th century that humanity embraced the convenience of toilet paper. So, next time you grab that roll, remember that it took centuries of innovation to get from Roman public toilets to the soft luxury we enjoy today. Imagine the world in ancient times, where Cleopatra, the iconic Egyptian queen, lived her life of intrigue and power. Now fast forward to a more recent era of the launch of the iPhone. The remarkable thing is, Cleopatra actually lived closer to the time when the iPhone was introduced into the construction of the oldest pyramids. It's a reminder of just how vast history is and how different timelines can overlap in surprising ways. From pharaohs to smartphones, our journey through time is a tapestry woven with unexpected connections. <laughs> It was 1903, and two determined brothers, the Wrights, changed everything. In a place called Kitty Hawk, they took to the air in a small plane, proving that humans could conquer gravity. Jump ahead only 66 years, a blink in history's eye, and another incredible moment arrived. In 1969, people worldwide witnessed an astronaut named Neil Armstrong stepping onto the moon. The Apollo 11 spaceship had made the impossible real. Think about this, someone alive back then could have seen both events, the Wright brothers' flight and humans landing on the moon. It's like going from a simple bicycle to a rocket in one lifetime. That is it for today, I hope you enjoyed today's video, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.